Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to talk to you uh, in this tips and tricks about how to take a custom tab on your ribbon and save that away so that it can be shared across uh, multiple versions of Tecla or perhaps uh, among multiple people in your office. Um, this would be pretty uh, common for, for an office that has like an internal workflow. Um, you know, some internal tools that you guys use on a regular basis that you train people to use. So when you create a tab, you want to be able to share that with others so you're all using the same, uh, the same set. Um, so what I'm not going to cover in this video is how to create a custom tab. We already have uh, some, some videos on that on YouTube, which I'll try to include in the description below. Um, so this is assuming you already know how to do that. Um, so what we want to do is take this tab, break it out from the rest of the ribbon, and then save this in a place that, uh, that everybody can use it. So first off, we need to see where the tab information gets saved. Now I already have a folder open here. Um, what I'll do is I'll pause here for a second so you can see the path to where this gets saved away. Um, it is in a hidden directory, so you're going to have to turn on your Windows um, hidden files and folders. But it's going to be in your C users directory and then the computer name, uh, app data, local, Trimble, Tecla Structures, your version, in this case I'm using Tecla Structures 2018, UI, and then ribbons folder. So the file that gets created when you customize your ribbon is an XML file that is uh, based on the license that you're in. So right now I am in a primary license and uh, this is going to be a primary ribbon. So if I was in a steel detailing role or a precast role or something like that, the file name would be different. That's okay for our purposes. Um, one neat thing about the XML files is that they're, they're live when they're in this directory. So if something changes, uh, they update automatically in Tecla Structure. So if, as an example, I take this file and I move it out of this folder, uh, as soon as I go back to Tecla, it's letting me know that the ribbon has changed. So when I say yes, um, it's going to reload, my ribbon disappears, or excuse me, my tab disappears, uh, and the ribbon gets reset to the defaults. So what we want to do is not be copying that file around, uh, which resets the entire ribbon for everybody. Um, what we want to do is we want to modify that guy uh, and pull out just the, uh, the, the critical portions. So if you open that file uh, in Notepad, um, I have a, a software here called Notepad++. It's a free download um, that I, I kind of like for this type of work. Um, in here, you can see here's all the different information that's in the, uh, the ribbon. So it's defining different tabs, different uh, commands. And if I scroll all the way down here to the bottom, um, what you'll see is my group, my custom tab group. So there we can see is the tab header called my custom tab. There's the four buttons that I've put on there. Um, and then there's the close, the forward slash tab. Um, so what we want to do is we want to copy out this section. Um, so I'm just simply right click on this and hit copy. You could also use cut. Um, and then we're going to close that original file, the original XML. Um, so what you want to do is then create uh, somewhere on your computer, I'm going to create a new file. Um, I'm just going to be a text document here, and I'm going to rename this whole thing to be my custom tab dot XML. Um, what you can do then is open that up in, in any type of notepad or wordpad or something like that, and then paste in your tab information. Um, so it's just the stuff that you want to share. It's not going to be the full ribbon. The rest of the ribbon will be defined by the Tecla defaults. Um, you can go ahead and close and save this file. And then what we need to do in order for Tecla to see this and Tecla to use this is we need to put this in a directory that Tecla can read. Now, if I go and put it back in that ribbons folder, the original ribbons directory, this will not work. It has to, when it's in this folder, it has to have that, that name based on the license type. And if I just drag and drop this guy in, Tecla can't read it, so nothing will happen. Um, what we can do, though, is set up a firm folder. Again, this isn't going to be something I'm going to show you how to create because we already have videos on the YouTube page for that. Um, but what you want to have is a firm folder that's defined. This firm folder does have to be defined in a user any file or some type of startup any. It cannot be defined uh, at the project level or the model level. Uh, at, at basically, it's, it's being read too late at that point. So go check out those videos for how to create a firm folder if you don't have one already. 
Um, in order to set up a custom tab in a firm folder, what you need to do is have a subfolder in there called ribbons. When you go into the ribbons folder, you need to have a subfolder called custom tabs. Um, after you've created the custom tabs, inside you need a folder called modeling for any modeling related commands. Obviously for drawing uh, created commands or drawing uh, custom tabs, uh, that would be a, a folder called drawing. Um, but if I double click in here, I can take my XML and simply drop it into that folder. So your firm folder, wherever it happens to be, ribbons, custom tabs, and then a modeling folder. And then you can go ahead and drop multiple XMLs if you want, uh, all with different names into that folder. So once you have that set up, you do need to restart Tecla for any change in a firm folder because it's read at startup. You can see how that tab is not showing up just yet. So what I'll do is I'll close and save out of this model. And then I'm going to go ahead and refire up 2018. All right, so now that the model is finished opening, we can see that my tab is back. There's my custom tab showing up with my custom tools. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. You go ahead and you create your custom tab. You uh, pull out that section of the XML file. You create a new XML file and then put it in your firm folder. So this way it's being copied from version to version automatically if you're reusing your firm folder. You can share that XML with other people um, on your team, in your office, in your organization, whatever that might look like. And the other nice thing about this is because the overall ribbon um, XML is based on your license type, uh, if you just change that around, you basically have to rebuild it if someone's using a viewer license and someone's using a drafter license and someone is using a steel detailing license. This way, it doesn't matter what license type you're in. Um, if, if this ribbon XML, this tab XML is saved in a firm folder, everybody opening any license type is going to have access to that tab. So this isn't a normal tip and trick. Uh, this is more of a kind of a setup thing. Um, as usual, you know, I, I hope you find this video helpful. Um, if you have any issues, you get stuck on anything, you can always reach out to your local help desk. And again, as always, thank you for watching.